Hey Pisces, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you. Follow all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, I'm seeing a gift card. I've been seeing that as a collective, okay? So I feel like there is some sort of um, healing that's taking place in the month of April, Pisces, or some sort of gift being given to you, or maybe you are giving the gift, okay? Um, but then the message card was there as well. So something about communication is showing up here. There could be someone heavily on your mind, Pisces, okay? Or you are on um, heavily on someone else's mind also. But this is for April 2022. So uh, cross watchers are welcome here as well. Very general messages, you guys. Please keep that in mind that it might not entirely resonate. Um, and just take what does, leave what does not for the next person, Pisces, okay? So um, Pisces, you are, you know, the last sign I am uploading for the month of April. I do do the signs in order and you are the last sign, the 12th sign. So of course, Pisces, it's like your message is the most complex, okay? I'm really trying to figure out what's going on with your energy for this month, to be honest. We have the lover's card popping up here and we have house, okay? Um, so some of you guys could be dealing with the Gemini. You don't have to be. Um, you could be making some sort of choice or decision in regards to a home or a house as well, okay? Or you're wanting to move in with someone or you're wanting to solidify something here or make some sort of changes when it comes to your home or some sort of changes are occurring when it comes to your home um but the first song well let's just start with the fact that i got four songs for you guys usually it's two um but i got four songs for you guys the first song was naked by ella may right um and what i got from that pisces this is either you okay or this is someone else um, and your energy, but just the energy of the song, just wanting to be completely, you know, yourself or them wanting to be completely themselves. Like you could be in a search to find, um, someone who can love you naked. Okay. Or this is just something that you are expressing to someone. Okay. Or someone who is expressing this to you, but overall it's just giving vulnerability. Okay. Someone who can put up with your good days, your bad days, things of that nature. Um, flaws and all is what I was getting. Okay. So the song flaws and all by Beyonce is a song that I was channeling intuitively, um, for you guys. So I don't know if you are, you know, dealing with someone and, um, it's just the rawness, like this person is vulnerable with you or really open, or it's just like the rawness of this individual. Maybe you're diving deeper into that. Okay. Or just diving deeper into yourself, being your own, um, true individual self and just allowing, you know, whoever you attract to come to you and love you for you, Pisces. Um, but yeah, the next song I got after that is Sad Girls Love Money. And I think the name of the artist is Amory. Okay, so all of the songs that I'm mentioning, if you have not heard it, please take a moment or a couple of moments since it's four songs to go, go and listen to the song. Um, but Sad Girls Love Money was just really giving me the vibes of like, you know, someone who doesn't have time to waste, okay? Possibly someone who, you know, who wants love but may feel forced to focus on stability or money or something else because of just, you know, the the um, letdowns that they've experienced in regards to love. So this could be you or someone else. It's almost giving like a, um, like a pushing away energy Pisces. So I don't know if this is you or another person, but this is someone who wants love, who wants to be loved, especially with the naked song. They want to be vulnerable. They want somebody to, you know, support them and be with them for them. Um, but it just kind of feels like it's a, it's a, maybe a power struggle or a vulnerability struggle or, um, like healing something about like a process of healing here. So maybe this person isn't fully healed or maybe you aren't Pisces. Um, but there is love there. Now I'm getting love on the brain by Rihanna. I got that for somebody else. I can't remember which sign it was. Um, but moving forward, the next song I got was, um, NWA by Lucky Day. And, I'm assuming the NWA, the name of the song stands with stands for Niggas With Attitudes, okay? Um, at least it reminds me of that group. But that song within itself, if you listen to it, it's like the male version of Sad Girls Love Money by A. Marae. It's like the male version of it. And it's kind of like both energies, um, whether you're female or male resonating with this, whether you're dealing with somebody or not, 
I feel like if you're not dealing with someone, you may come across somebody like this in the month of April, okay? But it's kind of like both energies, I don't even know how to put it, Pisces. It's like they both want to be vulnerable, okay? They both want real love. They both want honesty here, okay? They both want some sort of commitment with the courthouse here. They both want to move things forward. Um, but it's almost like a little bit of hesitancy or reservation or um, kind of like, trying to act like that's not the focus it it kind of feels like whatever is happening here is like a um like a defense mechanism like it's a way to protect yourself okay or a way for them to protect themselves but all in all i feel like you're mirroring this person whether this is someone in your life right now or someone you meet in the month of april okay um and then the very last song i got was honesty by pink sweats um and it all it all boils down to being honest okay it all boils down to being honest because in that song um there's a lot talked about you know uh the masculine energy wanting this person or vice versa the feminine energy wanting this person it's very mirroring it's very mutual and it all comes down to like being honest so maybe you or someone else pisces are being honest about your feelings this month okay your insecurities your fears what you're thinking what you're worried about or maybe this is just you being very honest with yourself about certain things so that you can move forward and attract love all right so i don't know y'all let me know um how that resonates for you it definitely just kind of completely threw me for a loop so let's see pisces if you haven't already please go ahead and like the video share comment i comment back and of course subscribe the more you interact here with the content on the channel the more it inputs your energy into these messages and i can better pick up on what's going on with you so as i'm shuffling the cards i saw the family room okay i'm seeing pathway and i'm seeing official person so i feel like you want to be this official person pisces maybe for someone or someone wants to be it for you it's giving foundation and home so i don't know maybe you're single for single pisces and it's like you're kind of fed up with love maybe but you really still want somebody to love on you i don't know we're just gonna head it go and hop into it um i'm gonna start with this kipper deck and then we're gonna go to the energy deck and then it's a row for final messages for you guys for april spirit what's coming towards pisces the month of april okay so we have imprisonment this could be you or someone else uh feeling stuck inside of your head pisces okay um uh, maybe overthinking some things definitely getting overthinking or over analyzing something okay at the bottom of the deck we have expectation i did see this before starting your video um so let's see poverty family room courtship so i don't know if you're overthinking something okay you feel like you're gonna lose out on something or you feel like something is not gonna meet your um your standards or something's just not going to work out for you okay it could be tied to like a foundation or a home or a family home or just some sort of commitment here because we also have courtship okay community main mail journey message yeah so i don't know um i don't really know what's going on here pisces or maybe you are if there's a situation that you are feeling stuck in, okay, or in your head about, um, expect some sort of change here because we go from the poverty card to family room, to courtship, to community, to support and all the things like that. So um, try not to be too much in your head would be the message for you this month, Pisces. All right, try not to think yourself out of a good situation or this is somebody in regards to you. Yeah, because look at this, the angel of love. It's like love all over the energy um but it's like blockages so i feel like the month of april is either you healing through certain blockages like personal healing um or someone else or like healing together with somebody okay um i don't know why i'm hearing exposure like being open and exposing certain feelings here so we have the angel of love we have the first chakra okay we have door to spirit we have magician in the mirror and the world okay and door to personal healing and happiness it's like the door is being open or some sort of opportunity is being laid on the table um to kind of like put everything on the table and talk things through it just feels um like you're you're becoming um closer with someone in a in a weird healing way dramatic way um, or you're just really, you know, being your true self, embracing your true self and, you know, just expressing that Pisces. So let's see. Spirit, who or what is coming towards my Pisces for April 2022? And then look at this. It's the walking away card. All right. But in this card, it's like walking away, but not really because the gate is not fully closed here. Yeah, Hiller of the Ages, Contract, Victory, and Cornucopia. So it's almost giving like, um, like I'm picking up on like a lot of 
fear and it's almost like um it's like a running energy i'm getting a song is it called runner i don't know like she's a runner she's a track star it's kind of feeling like getting close to someone pisces but like fearing it or going back into your shell or running or somebody else in regards to you so let's see spirit who or what is coming towards my pisces for april 2022 who or what is coming towards my pisces see what the energy deck has to say for you or somebody might, it's almost like Pisces, you are, again, this is you or someone else's energy, like someone may be prone to, or to think, or they've been, you know, made to think that they're difficult to love and stuff like that. And it's like, maybe this person wants to see how long you're going to stick around or how bad you really want this or how much you want to fight for this, or this is you. It's something weird like that that's going on. Okay. But we have financial constraints. We have rest and rejuvenation and financial constraints could be a loss of any kind. Okay. Or just the fear of losing something. Okay. But with rest and rejuvenate, I'm feeling like, um, something's going to put your mind at ease. So if you're worried about something, Pisces, worried about losing something, someone, um, I feel like there's some sort of peace and balance that's being restored here during April. Okay. We have woman holding a heart here. And this could be you holding back, okay, or um, someone else holding back. But then we have the fifth chakra. It's like feminine and masculine energy or however this resonates for you, feminine, feminine, masculine, masculine. But someone is definitely more feminine in a connection. Someone is more masculine. Um, but with the finance, financial constraints, this is giving me like an emptiness, okay? Um, this is equivalent to like the five of pentacles in the tarot. So it's giving me like... Um, abandonment issues or um, fear of being abandoned or something like that so somebody could be speaking up speaking their truth or realizing that this is actually a thing for them that they need to work through and heal through pisces you're someone else um with the throat chakra there yeah angel of balance with rest and rejuvenate okay it's a lot of libra energy showing up here too um and then more libra energy indecision here okay so somebody here what's at the bottom the man holding the coin okay somebody here is not letting up i feel like you know if this is in regards to you and someone else there's hesitancy on both sides or overthinking on both sides but there's more so maybe on a feminine energy and the masculine energy is showing up here okay envy card thinking man it's like you're trying to figure something out pisces or you want to do what's necessary to heal a situation okay temple path attachment and the goddess of the moon and it's like there's a lot of potential here, but again, with the attachment, there is some sort of blockage, okay, that you are experiencing, someone else is experiencing, or just trying to heal through, trying to build yourself back up, especially with this angel of strength, okay? Every time I see a card of moving forward, okay, or a card of, you know, like happiness, like you can be happy, there's a card of like, but what if? So I don't know if this is you or someone else, Pisces, but that's just the energy that's showing up here. So let's see it's a lot it's a lot that's going on um so let's see what the tarot has to say we have the hierophant all right so this is a spiritual leader spiritual teacher somebody who is very just spiritually inclined okay taurus energy um but i feel like pisces you have your eyes set on someone or something or they have their eyes set on you okay knight of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn eight of pentacles more earth energy here um, the Hermit card, more Earth energy, Virgo energy, Four of Wands, Queen of Cups, High Priestess. Okay, so it's like you have your eyes set on something or someone here, Pisces. So, um, or someone or something uh, has, they have their eyes set on you, okay? Or um, someone here is just like, I don't know, trying to take things slow and steady, okay, in regards to this or in regards to a different situation in life. In regards to how things are going to work out, I keep seeing this Eight of Pentacles, okay, with the Hermit card here, okay? So, hmm, and the Hermit card is about healing as well. So, working on healing. The Eight of Pentacles is putting in work. So, Pisces, I feel like you're really putting in work to heal yourself, okay, or to help someone else heal, or someone is putting in work to help, you know, heal themselves or you or mutual, however you see fit. Spirit, what's going on with my Pisces for April 2022? I just saw the Seven of Swords, and I see the Two of Cups, and I see the Empress. I don't know if you are... I don't know if you're having a hard time reading somebody, Pisces. 
of figuring something out or you feel like there's something. I don't know. It's just, it's a weird feeling. So Nine of Wands. Okay, Magician. Nine of Wands can talk about um, being defensive. It could also be like a warrior, you know, someone who's been through a lot. But this is also someone who's been through a lot, but they are still determined to make things happen, to get what they deserve, to go after what they love, who they love, okay? The Magician card here to make things happen, okay? So that's uh, Gemini, Virgo Energy. What else, Spirit? The King of Cups here. You are Pisces, okay? King or Queen of Cups here. Okay, so maybe... Maybe something is a challenge, okay? I don't know if this is a challenge within self or a challenge within some sort of dynamic or relationship here, but there is a lot of love. I did see the Ace of Cups, so I forgot. I saw the Ace of Cups. It popped out before starting you guys reading, um, which is a lot of love, okay? Just like the King of Cups. So let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Um, I also saw the Four of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles. So it's kind of like trying to hold on, okay, to something, but feeling as if, I don't know, feeling is if less than, or you may be feeling a little drain just in general the month of April, Pisces. Um, it's a lot about you wanting to put in the work towards something, okay? Whether it's yourself or something or someone else. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so it's like you're willing, it's almost like you're willing to go through the motions, all right? If that makes sense. Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, okay? You have so much like love and passion for whatever this is you have your mindset on, whoever this is you have your mindset on, that you're willing to go through the motions, you're willing to work, you're willing to build it up to the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? Um, or you're willing to be patient, okay, with yourself or someone else because you view this as a good opportunity, the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so let's see what else. We got the Queen of Swords. Yeah, like something here is a challenge, Pisces. Um, let me see. Five of Wands. Okay, I'm just seeing like difficulties or some sort of... um some conflict you may be feeling a bit stuck in regards to trying to make something happen whatever this is for you okay two of pentacles but you're still trying to figure it out pisces okay you're still trying to put in the work it's like um a good example is like you know you always take one route to work and for whatever reason you can't take that route you know today so it's like you have to figure out a different way so i feel like you're trying to figure out a different way to communicate a different way to get through to someone a different way to work through something or this is someone in regards to you pisces but the king of cups is here so i feel like this is you okay with the two of pentacles we have the nine of swords here seven of pentacles nine of swords it's like it's something about mirroring like you have the same mindset as someone or the same fears as someone or the same insecurities as someone okay but you're still willing um like despite what you've been through pisces there's still a want or desire for this or for love whatever it is for you okay so i mean ultimately april just feels like a lot of um push through breakthrough type of energy here maybe maybe um acknowledging parts of yourself you haven't before or parts of you know being in some sort of dynamic or relationship you haven't before here being completely open honest and raw with yourself and whoever else this involves pisces and we have the ten of wands so i feel like this is a hurdle that you can get over that you will get over because the ten of wands is with the ace of pentacles but overall i'm just really getting that something here is worth the fight like something here is worth the healing or worth the the struggle or worth the process of figuring it out pisces because you just feel so strongly about it okay whether this is yourself or involving anyone else and at the bottom of the deck we have justice okay um so this is balance i'm also getting like karmic justice here i feel like there's a lesson to be learned here something about the number two or like a duality like you and someone else there's something that's supposed to be learned from this okay eight of cups eight of pentacles nine of cups yeah there's something like this is teaching you something maybe someone is teaching you something or you're learning something about yourself okay um but the eight of cups the eight of pentacles the wish fulfillment nine of cups here three of pentacles things working out for you full card taking a loop a leap of faith it's all about leaving behind past love or past traumas or past things that didn't work out that i feel like you pour all of your time and energy into pisces yeah five of cups it didn't work out maybe you were dealing with a, a very um 
just jealous person or sneaky person or envy envious person or something like that okay strength card leo um queen of wands leo aries sagittarius okay um there's some sort of lesson that's presenting itself, Pisces, and I do feel as if you need to make a choice, okay? I don't know if this is a choice between two people or if this is a choice for you to kind of fall back into old patterns and old ways of coping with things versus being open, honest, and new and dealing with it differently and fighting for something that's worth fighting for. Y'all gotta let me know how it's resonating in the comment section below because at this point, y'all didn't stress me out. But I love you, Pisces. Leave me a comment, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.